What's up guys? Welcome back to Lick Branch Farms. In today's video, we're going to talk about strengthening up this new high tunnel that we're building. And I'm going to show you what we're going to use, what it's going to do, how it's going to affect the strength of this high tunnel, and all that good stuff, how much money we got tied up in it right after this. Welcome back guys. So in today's video, we are going to begin putting up these, I guess, supporting structure of this high tunnel. Specifically, and I don't know if you can see it, this purlin right here. I was able to secure the um, stuff that I needed to put this in with earlier in the week. And um, I ordered some hardware off of Amazon. They're called uh, purlin straps is what I call them. I don't know what the technical name of them is but i know you've seen them before these guys right here basically they hang on the top rail like so and you're able to run another pipe through the middle of it and i'll give you a close-up of one here in a minute when i get on this ladder but i kind of wanted to fill you in on where we are up until now i've uh, been working on this probably probably close to two and a half hours three hours now um the majority of the time has been spent straightening and leveling these bows and as you can see they're basically all right they're all four feet apart and what i'm doing is going in and i don't know if you can see there's a mark on each one of these so what i'm doing is going four foot and making a mark four foot making a mark so on and so forth all the way down through there and then i'll get up on the ladder i'm gonna drop a string all the way down i got my tape measure pulled across and i'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I got the last pole to put in, but I'm gonna show you how I've done all of these all the way up here. It's been a lot of up and down, up and down this ladder, moving stuff around. I did have to take a couple of these bows and I didn't have to bend anything, but I had to take and just turn them and it straightened it right up. So go figure. I mean, if that's the worst I got to do, I'm okay with that. So then I'm coming back down the ladder. I'm coming over here. I'm getting one of my straps. Y'all mind the workbench um, is working. That's, that's all I can say. It beats walking back and forth over there but open up the straps and this will give you a better idea what they look like as soon as I get it out just bump that mic and all so if y'all got some background noise I apologize so basically they go up like this just like you see it so this way it's sitting on the purlin this way the tube's running through it just like that focus okay so what I'm gonna do is tear this up along with this nope don't need that just yet so in a nutshell we're just going up and making a saddle for this pipe to sit into and let me get up here on top of this ladder <clears throat> get too old for this anyway so you can see how i'm just sitting it up just like this and I'm, you're probably getting an idea of how it's supposed to work now pipe goes through here all the way down and then you tighten up these let me redo this now i want all the nuts on that side just so i don't know i'm weird like that but anyway, um, then we're going to come back down and I'm going to have to put this camera down over here so y'all can watch me from the ground. All right, so before we put this up, I'm going to take the tape measure and I'm going to measure down. Um, so that's an inch and a half. So I'm going to measure down probably four feet and make a mark. I don't know if that's going to be, that's not going to be right because there's an inch and a half sticking out up here. So what I'm going to do is measure two and a half foot, make a mark, and that should put me where I need to be here. And if not, I'll pull the tape from the center line of both before I get ready to set them. But really what I want to do is get it in here and kind of get it hanging so I can take this coupling. And this is the only one I've had to use so far. I bought a bunch of them, but this is the only one I've had to use so far because um, the rest of them I've been able to put the, the swag in and the pipe in and put a screw in it and it's been working great. But for this last one, I'm ending up with two um, butt ends, I guess you would call it, I don't know. But, and I got to use one of these. So, and like I said, I bought a bunch of these just to have on hand because this is not the only tunnel I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a few more, but um just for now we're going to use this one so i'm gonna climb up i'm gonna get the pipe in get it situated and then we'll put this on and put screws in it from both sides and then i'll pick up from there and show you what we're going to do towards the end
All right, guys. So you got a pretty good idea. Now I got to line this up with that and tighten them up. Yes, like and there's gonna be a little adjusting. You can see how it looks a little funky going out there. There's gonna be some adjusting. You can believe that, but. This will give me a line of sight so I can see if I need to go up or down with these outside poles. And that's the way I've been doing it, is adjusting by looking at the ridge pole all the way down through there. So the ridge pole is straight. All I gotta do is adjust the pole back to it. As you can see, now this end's high. So what I gotta do is take this rod and go down with it. This one right here looks pretty good. It's touching, so basically we're just gonna do the full foot in there, put a strap on it, call it good. This one's got to come down. So the way we do that, we come over here to where it goes into the pipe and we basically pull it down. I say we do. There we go. We adjust it like this. That's the nine inch mark that we started with. So basically we're gonna adjust down like this and then we're gonna step back and look again. That's got to go up. All right, that's about it right there. All right, so looking at it now, everything looks good and straight this way. And if you step back and look, and I haven't screwed any of this in yet, so I want to be able to adjust it. If you look down through here, everything down through here is, is pretty much straight. This is where hip board's gonna go. We're gonna come up four foot from the ground and I'll get the transit out and shoot that line, but we're gonna put a hip board on so we can put roll up sides on this dude. And I've been thinking more and more about it. I don't know that I'm gonna put scissor in walls on it. I'm, I'm just thinking that I'm gonna put a, probably a six by six or a six by eight, I'm sorry. Six foot wide, eight foot tall. Put double doors on it and that way I can still get the tractor in if I need to. But yeah, looking down through here, you can look. It's pretty, pretty dang good down through here, Gunner. This, you know, when we put them hip boards on, we're gonna be able to pull a lot of that slack in and out of there. And that's really gonna shore things up. So. We're gonna get the rest of the straps on here. I think I got one more strap and I'm gonna straighten that up because that one right there has got to go that way just to tick. And that one down there has got to go that way just to tick and it'll pull it straight. All right guys, so we got the purlin in. The center purlin is up and you see it's just a little bit crooked down there. I gotta straighten that out. But these ends right here, I can't use these purlin straps on the end. I've gotta use what they call a, uh, a tube strap that doesn't have anything that sticks out because this is where the plastic is gonna be on this side and can't have anything obviously that's gonna cut the plastic. So I've got to order those and I'm gonna get the lumber this week to put the hip boards and the baseboards on and get the plastic ordered for the top. So we're just about getting ready to cover this thing up. Um, right now, I know we were said in the last video or in the video when we started this that we were gonna keep a tally on this during every video of what we got in it. So I've got $60 worth of new pipe that um, I use for the purlins and I got $45 worth of the purlin straps Got those on Amazon. Um, you look them up, just look up purlin straps or um, greenhouse straps, they, they go by those too. But yeah, $45 for those and $60 worth of poles. So what we say in the last video was in it for 1100 or excuse me, 1,020 bucks. Then we're adding 60 bucks for the pole, we're adding 45. So we in this for $1,125 right now. $1,125 is what we got tied up in it. So we're getting ready to start buying a lot of hardware. We're gonna have to buy the Wiggle wire tracks, usually they come with wiggle wire, so we won't have to buy that, but the wiggle wire tracks is what's gonna lock the plastic in. And it'll be from here all the way around to the other side where the hip boards are, and then it'll be all the way down the hip board. So I got to figure it up. Normally they come in like 80 foot kits, 60 foot kits, even 100 foot kits. So um, this being a 52 foot greenhouse, or excuse me, 52 foot tunnel, it's gonna be a little bit awkward if you would um and i do have some left over from when i did this one so we may not have to buy any at all but yeah so far i'm pretty happy with this it's starting to come together it's starting to look even everything's starting to kind of pan out and feel it you see this one here i still got to pull it over and then when i put that strap on it's gonna nail that down so yeah everything's working out perfect 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna call a wrap for this video. Um, don't miss the next one where we will be tying in the hip boards and the baseboard for this thing, and we may have some plastic. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we'll have the uh, wiggle wire tracks and stuff installed by then. Maybe we'll get to work on those. I don't know. We definitely will be working on this. Um, I'm gonna be planting throughout the week, so I'll give you an update on what I planted, where we're at with it, what we got left to plant. I've got to get this thing jamming because you can look and see all of these. All of these tomatoes, these tomatoes, which are black cherry tomatoes, these peppers, these peppers are going in that tunnel. And these are sun golds, sun golds, and I got some super sweet 100s that's going to go in this tunnel also. So we got to get rocking on this thing. So yeah, if y'all missed the video when we bent these hoops and all for this tunnel and got started on it, I'm going to put a link to it up here. And if you want to know about more about our farm, if you found any of the information useful or, you know, entertaining, click the subscribe button over here in the corner. As always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.